you can't just turn the lights out on me. I'm reading in here. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. You almost gave me a heart attack. Yes, you did. It's a really intense chapter. Wait, I'm not done with it yet. I still have a few more pages. Are you going upstairs? You're going to bed already? What time is it? Crap. I guess I kind of lost track of time. Weren't you watching something? How was it? Oh, come on. Don't you want to go watch something else? I promise I can stop at the next chapter. I only have a few pages left. Wait, no. Hold on. If you're going up, I'm going up too. I can't read this book alone. In the dark? Are you crazy? No, I will finish it upstairs in bed. I'm on page 247. Don't let me forget. I don't have a bookmark. I usually just stop when the chapter breaks, but 247, okay? 247. 247. Me check the front door? <sighs> no way. I'm sorry. I can't. I told you, it's a scary book and it has me totally creeped out. There is no way I'm going by those windows in the dark. You can go check if the front door is locked. I know, everything's fine, but I'm already getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Come on. You're not even halfway up the stairs. Please come back. You check the door. Because I'm not going to do it, and if you don't, I'm not going to be able to stop thinking about it all night. You're the one who brought it up. You go check it. Please. Thank you. No, it's fine. You can turn the lights out now. Just wait until I'm on the stairs first. Guys, I don't want to have to run. Doesn't going upstairs in the dark always give you that creepy feeling? Like something's behind you and you gotta run faster? Okay, shut up. No, don't you dare try to creep me out more than I already am. <sighs> you did not see anything out there. You're just trying to scare me. Come on. Give me your hand. I want you to hold mine. You're not gonna hold mine? There's nothing out there. Stop it. Didn't you want to go to bed a second ago? Well, come here. Let's go. Give me your hand. No, I like the book. That's not what it is. It's good so far. Sometimes it's hard for me to get into books, but can you feel my hand shaking? I know. I didn't realize it had this whole, like, paranormal storyline. I thought it was a romance. Hey, where are you going? I thought we were going to bed. You're pulling the wrong way. What? No. Didn't you shower this morning? Yes, you did. Because I remember. You weren't there when I woke up. I had to pee so bad and you were hogging the bathroom. Oh, you do not need another shower tonight. You'll grab another one when we wake up. That's only like seven or eight hours from now. Oh, really? Fine, but can I come sit in there on the floor while you're showering? I don't want to wait in bed for you. I don't want to go to bed by myself at all. The book is too scary. I can't read it in there alone. And I can't read it out here in the hall alone either. Do you have any idea how much that'll creep me out? I will overthink every little sound. Every single shadow. I know, that's why I need you with me. What if you just shower in the morning? Please? Okay, thank you. Wait, but can I go with you to brush your teeth? And can I tell you about my book? Well, don't just leave me in the doorway. I told you, shadows, ghosts, noises. Let me scoot in with you. Shh. 
think they turned this book into a movie. Have you seen it? Mm, I'm not sure either. It doesn't seem familiar, but... The book, I just started it yesterday. I'm almost halfway through. Well, I thought it was going to be a love story. Well, because the guy and the girl, they hook up in the first chapter and he starts falling in love with her. But then we find out that present day he has her like locked up in a bedroom all tied up with ropes. And now all this strange stuff keeps happening at the house where they were staying. Like paranormal or stalkerish. I guess. Stuff moving around. Doors getting unlocked. But then this message gets typed on his laptop, so I don't understand how somebody could have just broken in. So is it a ghost? I don't know. Because I thought for a minute there that he was going to be the bad guy. He has her tied up. And he seems like such a creep sometimes. But now I don't know. <laughs> you know that I'm not going to spoil the ending for myself. I don't even like reading the blurb on the back of a book. I want to be surprised. I don't totally mind being terrified as long as I'm not alone in the dark reading it at night do you need anything else in here or are you ready to go to bed okay let's go do you think you're gonna read it you can have it after me if you want I'm gonna spoil the plot for you are you sure Okay, wait. Can you sleep on my side of the bed tonight, please? I don't want to sleep by the window. I know I normally like the breeze, but... Please? Okay, and what if I am a big baby? I'm fine with it. I'm supposed to be your baby. So please, trade me sides of the bed just for tonight. Yes. If you trade me tonight, I promise I will not read this book before bed ever again. Tonight only. Thank you. I love you. Are you going to read before bed? Or watch something? Or are you just going to go to sleep? What? <gasps> I won't keep the lamp on for long. Can you scoot closer and put your arm around me? If I'm gonna make it through the rest of this chapter, then I would like to be all snuggled up, please. Yeah, that's perfect. I used to have to read these kind of books all alone, you know? I've never picked them out on purpose, no way. I couldn't even brave the Goosebumps books as a kid. I know, scary is not my genre. It wasn't made for me. But I didn't know this book was going to be like that. See, look, right here. Do you see? This is not paranormal. This is a split. Yeah, they're sinning all over in this chapter. <laughs> right there at the beginning of this one. So, well, I thought they were supposed to be falling in love, not getting possessed. Hey. <laughs> Excuse me. You're supposed to be protecting me. Keeping me safe. Rubbing my back. Not reading all the dirty scenes over my shoulder. Okay, okay. I made the massage up just to see what I could get away with. But the rest of it, yes. Too late. You already said you don't want to read this one after me. You're just saying that now that you know there's dirty stuff in it. Well, I guess you're just going to have to suffer over there on your side of the bed. Wondering what kind of horrible thoughts these books are filling my mind with. Yeah, I'll scoot back down. I was comfy there on top of you. <sighs> well, maybe if you get lucky... I'll read out loud to you the next time I come across something bad. Now, weren't you going to sleep? Uh-huh. Close your eyes. I love you.
okay? Excuse me. I am trying to wind down with a book. Yeah, well, first it's going to get me all wound up and then it'll move on to the next scene. And they'll be falling in love again or talking about dinner reservations. And I'll get bored and I'll wind down and I'll fall asleep. What are you grabbing that book out of my hands for? Be careful with it. That was like $20. Well, you're going to wrinkle the pages with your paws. What do you want to see the scene so bad for? Can't you just Google something dirty on your phone? <laughs> oh, for the plot. Right. You liar. You really want to see it? Why? What for? You want to see an example of something that's actually really fucking hot? You trying to up your game or something? Okay, here. Go ahead. Well, what do you think? Oh my god, are you reading that slow on purpose? Here, it's excruciating. Give it back. Yeah, give it to me and I'll read it to you. Let's see, you just want the dirty stuff? No background? <laughs> okay, well, they're in love, I think. And I definitely shipped them, so you should know that going into these pages. Let's see. <clears throat> just kiss me she whined already moving towards his mouth her hands shaking but bracing either side of his face shut up I think it's sweet that she's nervous she couldn't make either one of them wait any longer neither could he she always thought that when she kissed him for the first time it would be a small shy nervous little thing that she would wait for him to paint over her lips but it wasn't like that at all. One moment, she was planning on kissing him for the very first time. And the next, that milestone had already passed. She felt his tongue against her lips, opening her mouth slowly.